What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It's the Pig Trail Network. I'm its hosting creator, Tyzilla83. Hope you're doing well. You gotta be doing, you gotta be doing pretty well. I mean, we're halfway through, we're halfway through the week, and Razorbacks play on Saturday. Yeah! Everyone's gotta be excited about that. I just wanted to say before we get into the, we're gonna talk about the, the, the depth chart. They just released, the, the football team released on Monday. So we're going to kind of glance over that, but before we do, I want to say a special shout out and a thank you to all the new subscribers who've come, who have who've um, joined the channel. I really do appreciate it. And to all of you who've been watching the videos, I don't, you know, I know a lot of you've been around for a really long time. So thank you to you and to all the new folks. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you. You know, those of you who who've been commenting and you know down below the videos, who've been sharing the content, who've been talking about the channel on social media, who've been emailing me and hitting me up in the Twitter and Facebook DMs. Thank you guys. I really I really do appreciate it. You know, it lets me know you guys, man. You guys are digging the content, so I really do, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. So let's talk about this depth chart really quick, shall we? So what we'll do is we'll go down the list really quick of the starters, and we'll kind of talk about the backups just a little bit. I'm going to read this off my off my iPhone 6, this tiny little phone. And then also what I'll do is I'll copy and paste the, at least the starters. Hopefully I can get the backups in there as well. But I'll copy and paste those names down below in the comments section at some point. That way you can look for yourselves. And please feel free to comment down below what you guys think of the depth chart. And again, this is as of Monday. They have made changes since. This does not necessarily mean this is what they're going with. On Saturday, they've already made some changes amongst the receivers and on the offensive line. I was also told on the defense they've kind of, you know, they've tweaked some areas as well. There was one move in particular. I'm really curious to see. We'll get to that in just a minute. We'll just hang on. So let's let's start with the offense. We know that Cole Kelly is a quarterback, okay? We also knew that DeVoal Whaley probably going to wind up being the starter. What's interesting, behind DeVoal Whaley, they have here Chase Hayden. The You remember him? Last year, what little bit we got to see of him. His freshman year, he looked pretty special. Well, he's announced as the backup here, but then I, I read today Rakeem Boyd actually got the majority of the, the second team carry. It sounds like Chase Hayden and, and Rakeem Boyd are battling it out for that backup spot. That's that's good. That's a good thing. You know, and it doesn't surprise me. Rakeem Boyd, I mean, we all know. If you watch Last Chance you he looked pretty special. Your receivers, Michael Petway, Jonathan Nance, Jared Cornelius. No big surprise there. Except that behind LaMichael Petway, you're supposed to have Woods as his backup. Well, we know he's suspended, or maybe you didn't know that, but he is suspended. Behind him is the Kansas transfer, the KU transfer, Chase Harrell. 6'4", 215-pound redshirt junior. is gonna get. He's going to see the field Saturday. That's going to be really cool to watch. If you're curious about his his, his number, he's uh, looks like he's number 14. So keep a lookout for him on the offense. The offensive line, again, they've already made some changes, but left tackle, the red shirt, the six foot six, three hundred pound red shirt freshman, Shane Clinton. Okay, that's we'll see if that sticks. Kirby Adcock, and then of course Froholt at center. Uh, you're gonna have Gibson at right guard, then Wallace at right tackle. So you're gonna have two freshmen at the left tackle, the left guard spot, and then f- from center over to the right tackle, you've got all seniors. So, oh boy, it's going to be interesting. We know how thin they are on the offensive line. I'm sure by Saturday, I don't know if this will stick or not, if those guys are going to be the starters come 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon or not. But that will be interesting to keep an eye on for sure. Okay, on the defense, Michael Taylor is going to start at defensive end. And then you're going to have you know, you're going to have two DNs and then two D tackles. They're going to use a 4-3 multiple front defense. Sounds to me like they're going to use the 4-3 and the 4-2-5 or the nickel packages on on defense but they call it a 4-3 multiple front so again michael taylor defensive end mctelvin again sosa got his starting position back it sounded like he was battling it out as a backup but here as of monday again as of monday they have him as a starter next to tj smith who will be the other defensive tackle then obviously randy ramsey your 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 three true linebackers dre greenlaw scoot at middle and then hayden henry outside and then your nickel your nickel Back in that in that particular package, they have here Devon McClure, you know the 6'2", 222 pound. And I mean, ever since they recruited this guy, I've had high hopes for him. I hope that uh, hope he hope he balls out on Saturday. But then behind him, they've got Nate Dalton. Now I thought Fouché was going to take that spot, but it looks like they moved him to back up free safety. So 
Then your DBs, your your left cornerback is going to be Ryan Pulley. Then your other corner is going to be Chevin Calloway. And then your two safeties, Cameron Coral and Santos Ramirez. Their backups are uh, Miles Mason and Joe Fouché, two freshmen. The position that I talked about earlier that I said was interesting, Monteric Brown is actually listed as one of the possible two deep corners. I read today that he actually ran, or maybe that was from Tuesday, that he ran with the uh, second team corners. So you're going to see Monteric Brown, this guy that was a highly recruited safety. It looks like he may play. I'm sure they'll probably put him at both spots at some point Saturday, but it sounds like he could. you could see him line up at, at the quarterback spot. So, again, not all that. We'll just have to wait and see if that sticks. Uh, but I already know, again, they've made some changes. We'll have to wait and see how this – how this all lines up on Saturday. Nonetheless, pretty interesting. I'm if I had to say one area I'm the most confident in, for me it's the it comes down between probably the linebackers and then probably I don't know, a toss up between the running backs and, and the and the secondary. I just something about the secondary with Ryan Pooley back, Shevin Callaway, I just I feel like he's got a really high ceiling. I'm I'm a fan of Santos Ramirez, and then I've heard nothing but good things about Cameron Curl since his move from corner to the safety spot. And then obviously with Fouché and, and Miles Mason, these two freshmen who've stood out during fall camp, and just something tells me the secondary this year. I'm not going to say they're going to be like elite, but they could be something special this year and something we should all keep an eye on. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for, for watching the video. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you just watched. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. Please go check out the PTN Patreon page. Or if you'd like, you can also ch uh, check out the donation page as well if you want to, if you want to do that. There's uh, links down below for all that stuff. But thanks again, and we'll see you guys on Friday where I'm going to give you my, finally give you my wins and losses. How many games do, do the Razorbacks win this year? Do they make a bowl game? Do, do I think they can win enough to get to a bowl game? We'll have to wait. and uh, I'll, I'll tell you on Friday. I'm excited. Friday's video is going to be cool. and uh, So keep a lookout for that. See you guys.